Australian, so I'm coming at this from a different angle, I guess, to, to anyone who lives here. Um, but, uh, I mean, I don't... Uh, I think he's... Um, I'm trying to be politically correct here. Um, I think he's, I don't think he's doing a very good job. Um, I think he's making a lot of big decisions that are influencing um, this country negatively. Do you think those decisions are based on the advice he's getting from his, uh, his newly hired staff, or do you think he's uh, directing the whole, the whole um, agenda? I think it's a combination of both, definitely. Um, I think he's definitely got some specific ideological views, um, but I think he's being heavily influenced by those in the White House. Um, I think he was definitely very influenced by, um, by Flynn, who's just resigned. Um, and it's probably a good thing that Flynn's gone, to be honest. Well, that's an interesting point because um, this, this so early on in the administration is is quite the quite the news story, and I'm just wondering if you think that's going to influence other areas of his administration. Yeah, no doubt. This uh, if this has happened so early. I mean, who knows what what else could happen? Um, what do you think? <laughs> All right. Well, what's your what's your viewpoint on the president and his uh, his working in the administration this early on? Well, I couldn't agree more with Sinclair. Um, I'm an Italian national, so again, my perspective is very uh, different, maybe from the uh, from an insider perspective in the United States. But I couldn't agree more. I think. Uh, his decisions are a combination of um, advices from his administrations, but also uh, maybe his personal view. Um, Do you think his immigration policy has been a little heavy-handed or even keeled? I think that the immigration policy that he um, advanced in the past couple of weeks, it's not, um, it doesn't serve the purpose of what he wanted to do. He, want, he justified the Muslim ban as um, a way to counter terrorism, but to be honest with you, all I think is that it's going only to aggravate the situation and it's going to um, create the opposite of what he really wants, if that's what he wanted. Uh, I don't think it was a, absolutely a good... Uh, so given the, uh, the judicial system and how his his order has been basically put on hold. Um, does that does that send a message to uh, people who are trying to uh, come from other countries? And how do you feel about the um, what the judicial system has done? Well, I honestly felt very relieved because um, it shows that although um, some presidents may uh, put in place extreme uh, policies, there's a whole other side of the of the society of the country that is willing to stop. Uh, I think it was an extremely good thing. It was, uh, for a foreign national, it was very uh, reaffirming. To be honest with you, um, it seems like the the new president, he's, uh, I don't want to use strong terms and say killing what foreign nationals have believed so far about the United States, but he definitely endangered those values in which foreign nationals have, uh, have believed or looked at, at the United States. You, um, I'm not sure if... Are you, you're saying that the United States has always been a kind of a leader um, in, in, in international affairs, and, and this may somehow, does this somehow change that uh, internationally with, with other countries? Uh, I think so. Um, I think that's exactly what I wanted to say. We, uh, at least from my personal perspective, growing up in Europe, we always looked at the United States at the, as the land of freedom, the land where no matter what your background is or um, where you were from or the color of your skin, you could actually be someone if you worked hard. And I guess. Um, past couple of weeks has have challenged that uh, idea and and to go back to your question I think that it was very uh, important and reaffirming that um, that the judicial system here in the United States worked in a different way and the, the movements as well were it was it was nice to see 
Well, let me ask you a question regarding the, the selection of his administration staff. I mean, that's been in the news quite a bit, and uh, there's been some amount of controversy. Right, do you have any feelings about um, the selection of individuals he's picked for various departments? Mm, I, I can't really say. Uh, Okay, well, let me ask you this. Would you, if, if, if you were able to vote, and two years from now, if you were to come up for re-election, what would it take for President Trump to gain your vote? Um, <laughs> it's a, a very question. tough question. You know, when, before he was elected, um, I thought all he said was just very kind of propaganda to gain the votes, but uh, and I was hoping that the things, most of the things that he said during the election time, were not going to be implemented. And and this is my personal view. But for instance, I I welcomed when he said that we should build uh, stronger relationships with other countries, including Russia. So I thought that that was a good thing, and I was hopeful. When I mean, when he was elected, I I don't want to say that I was happy or anything because this is not my country, so I don't have to express my. But I wasn't so. Um, I mean, I was hoping that he wasn't going to be so extreme. As you thought that was just political talk and it wasn't really serious. It was, I thought it was more a way to gain votes.